Well, after walking through some rather dodgy areas, we have reached Karamikos. And this is, at night time, one of the most vibrant gay areas. I don't think I'll be coming around here late at night, which is when all the bars and clubs open. Most of them seem to not open till almost midnight. But we'll take a little look around during daylight hours. But we did manage to find an Irish pub, the Lucky Sparrow. So let's head in. Papers here in Athens. Um, I guess some of them are sport related. I think these all are. Let's have a little look at the street market. I think that they look like they're about to be closing soon. Mm. There's still time to buy an apple or a banana or an aubergine. Watch out for the van. Look at the lovely sweet strawberries. This must be where everyone gets their fresh produce. Yes, and it smells divine. Very fresh. Eggs over there. Watch out, this might be reversed. Oh 
and it stretches for quite a few blocks. Oh, I see the OK grocery store. OK. Shall we go in? OK. This is Hadrian's Arch. Oh, is it the same Hadrian that built the wall, perhaps? Yes, I believe it was. Oh, wow. Look at this. Paul, what is that behind us with all the scaffolding? That is the Temple of Zeus. Oh, I thought it was the Temple of Doom. No. All oh, right, that's Indiana Jones. Sorry, I was getting a little bit confused. And can you tell us anything about it? It is. It was built in honor of the Greek god Zeus. And it's an ancient temple of worship. But I don't think you can um, get in without paying today. So you have to worship the the coin and the king euro. Okay. This is the Olympic Stadium behind us. Yes, it's the original Olympic Stadium dating back to the 6th century. Wow. And it was renovated in 1896. And it's still used today because it hosted some of the events at the 2004 Athens Olympics. And it's also the finishing point of the Athens Classic Marathon every year.
to Greece. Now, if you're enjoying watching Paul and Marcus on YouTube, then please subscribe. hobbling a bit. I've, um, I don't know what I've done but this morning when I got up everything was fine and we took the metro into into town and then all of a sudden I took I guess it's some sort of weird cramp an absolutely intense sharp pain the whole way up my right leg. Did you take pills for it? I've taken two I, ibuprofen um, the pain is not as bad as it was, but I am hobbling. Paul's gonna walk ahead and show you. I'm just relieved that we did the Acropolis with its numerous steps on our first day here because I don't think I would have been able to do that in this condition but you know have to battle on let's see how it goes this is Ermo it's one of the main shopping streets in Athens and it's got some familiar names, including M&S. And H and M. Isn't it strange that they have the fountain on this street as well? Or they special? Well, yeah. Um, if you actually take a look at that one, it's got upturned feet. Look. You see it, Paul? Right here? Yeah. Oh. All right. Look, Wuppy, Pullen Bear. Oh. Shall we go in? Yes. I need new shoes. Yes. Right next door is Marks and Spencer. Oh. It is, a, it is a sign from God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, I think we ought to go in and earn a few sparks, don't you, Paul? Well, we have come out into the centre of Athens to sample the nightlife and it's buzzing. There are bars and restaurants and live music absolutely everywhere. But there's one bar in particular that we're looking for and it's called Rooster. Let's see if we can find it.
things have got a little bit darker down here. But we have found Rooster. It's right in front of us. Let's take a look around Piraeus Marina at night.